Welcome to a package that was sent to me by Keymaster. Buddy, thank you very much for this very interesting package. And you can read that it's labeled Einbausicherung, which translates into something like um, item to be built in to enhance the security. And yeah, it's uh, still sealed, it's uh, new, so to speak. But it's um, very old, so this was made in the German Democratic Republic, in the GDR, uh, which gives it an age of um, approximately 30 years. Yeah, uh, the item that's inside this package enhances the security of uh, warded locks. And before I open the package, I want to show you how these uh, warded locks work. So that's a warded lock, which uh, is very common here in Germany for doors in house um, and the security that this type of locking mechanism provides is just the shape of the cutout here. So here I have two keys, one that does not fit and the other one fits. So if the key goes in or not uh, depends purely on the shape of the key and when we open up the cover and this warded lock here is uh, yeah, already uh, quite uh, empty, so there were springs inside and other stuff. I have removed that and um, yeah, the bolt is actually the only part that's uh, interesting now for us. Uh, we can see that the bolt is driven by uh, the key that goes in this uh, cutout here and can retract or um, push out the bolt. So when we close the cover again, and insert the right key, we can see that the bolt can go out and go in. So that's how it works with a correct key. With the incorrect key, you would not be able to insert the key at all. But that's not a mm, very good measure for um, uh, securing um, yeah, the, the door because if you have uh, just a hook like this you can insert it here and also uh, operate the bolt very easily. Yeah, and that's where this Einbausicherung, uh, Einbausicherung comes into play. It's a little lock that is going to be installed in this area inside the housing and then can be operated um, with a key so that you have a regular pin tumbler to um, operate your bolt. Alright, so now let's um, open up the package and look at the actual Einbausicherung. broken. Now let's... Oh, that looks funny. So we've got the Einbausicherung. Looks like a pin tumbler with three pin rows, like just like a cross lock beside of heh, that one arm is missing. Ah, and here you can see the nose that drives the, the bolt. And we have uh, four keys. Very, very nice. And the, the screws for uh, mounting this uh, lock inside the housing. So I want to see if I can operate it. Yes, I can. So how does this look inside the lock? So you have to drill holes and put it uh, inside here, maybe Maybe the other way around. Maybe like so. Let's see. Maybe like this and then if you operate it from the other side, uh, yeah, you can imagine how the how the nose 
then can uh, move the bolt left and right. All right. Yeah, I want to clamp it in my vise and then uh, I want to pick it and see how much it takes to uh, pick into this lock. Just hold on. All right, the little lock is clamped in the vise. Here is again the key. We can see four cutouts on each side, but there are only two pins uh, in each row. When we shine a light in here from the back, we can see the two pins, left, right and on the top. And the four cuts are for being able to operate the lock from both sides. So you can stick in the key from this side and operate the lock and you can also stick in the key from the other side like this to operate the lock or to operate the locking mechanism uh, in the door and open up the door or close it uh, from the other side. So, but now let's pick it. I've already uh, done uh, picking it once to check which tension technique I would use. So here is a Peterson pry bar 1.3 millimeter. I start with tensioning the lock from the uh, from the top and then I use this beautiful pick that Trackmaster 30 has sent to me. Um, the left side is binding first. Click from the back pin, click from the front pin and the core turned a good amount. Now let's see. The side is binding a little bit but no good click and yeah, it's um, not really possible to pick the pins on the top top um, with a tension wrench inside. So I change tension wrenches and can now focus on the top pins. Now maybe the right pins. And here we go, the lock is picked. Uh, we'll point you down so you can see it's picked. And if we turn it to 90 degree, it locks back up with these two pins and these two pins. And now I have to uh, pick it back to the um, neutral position. Let's quickly do that by tensioning the lock in the hand. Should be much easier. And here we go. It's back in the original state and now I can show you how it works that the lock operates from both sides. From this side <laughs> and also from the other side. Not sure what that actually is. Is this a magnet? No. Don't know what that little piece here on the top is used for. Anyway, cool little lock. Uh, Einbausicherung made in the German Democratic Republic. 30 years ago. <laughs> All right, so Keymaster, thank you very much for this unusual lock. And yeah, everybody else, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and bye bye. bye, -bye.